hey, I was tagged for a challenge. Uh, not a really hard challenge. I don't really like challenges to begin with, but I saw this one and I thought, yeah, I can do this one. It's uh, 10 van life questions. And it, I was tagged from uh, Dave at uh, Ghetto Van Adventures. So uh, it, he tagged me to do, the, to do this challenge. And uh, so let's get right at it then. There's 10 questions. And question number one is, what make and model of van do I have? Well, I have a 1995 Dodge Classic Supreme uh, 318 engine, high top, uh, f like it, it, it's fully loaded. It comes ready to start uh, camp. So it comes with a fridge, a stove, a sink, no oven, uh, a three burner stove though, um, uh, a toilet, a shower, uh, another sink in the back where the shower is, uh, a bed, uh, actually two beds, uh, two, two tables. So it comes with everything you need. Question number two, how long did it take to do my van build? Well, in my particular instance, it took me no time at all. It was all done for me already. I had purchased it like the way it was with this stove and the fridge and the sink and the shower and the toilet and all, all those amenities. I had like I said, since taken out a few things and added my own in. Uh, question number three. Favorite place to stay in a van? Favorite place to stay in a van would be, I guess, wherever you can park that when you open your door in the morning, you have a beautiful sunrise and the lake is out there or the ocean or the river or some water and uh, it's a beautiful sunrise nice sunny day uh, that's the kind of days that you want to wake up to question number four what's the worst place uh, to stay in in a van well the worst place i would think would be there is no really worst place so i would say um, the worst place to stay in your van would be a place that you're not, you're not really wanted. And uh, you should be able to figure out what those places are pretty easy. Question number five, how many people have I had in my van at any one time? I would say that I had five, five people uncomfortably for a total of 15 to 20 minutes. Question number six, have I, have, have I had any disasters? Have I had any accidents or they, no, no accidents, uh, any disasters? I had a uh, electrical problem in Prince Edward Island once. I was down for one afternoon in Vancouver. Uh, I got my front brakes completely done. Uh, so it's it just because I wanted to, not because I had to, but uh, I wanted to get the brakes done. So those are two things, but they're not they weren't really disasters. Question number seven: a favorite feature in my van, a favorite feature. Um, so my f favorite feature in this van would be something that I added, and that would be, uh, the diesel heater for winter. Uh, nice dry heat, not propane uh, burning at all. Um, any exhaust is exhausted outside your vehicle. You don't you don't get any fumes whatsoever. And it's a nice nice dry heat, and it is hot. Question number eight. My least favorite part of uh, van life. Least favorite part of van life. So showers are hard to come by. Uh, water, not uh, drinking water and uh, 
uh, cooking water, not so hard to come by. <coughs> um, toilet and what have you, not so hard to come by, and, and not 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 uh, a really least favorite part of van life. So other than that, there is no real least favorite part of van life. I, I, I enjoy it all. Question number nine. Favorite part of van life. My favorite part of van life. The favorite part of van life would be the, 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 the simple freedom of, because I'm retired, I can uh, just turn my key on and away I go. I can go where I want to, when I want to. Uh, so I, I, there's nothing to hold me back. I can, I, I, lo I love the freedom of where I can go and what I can do. Um, question number 10. Any tips for those that are starting out in van life? Tips would be, don't just take anybody's advice. Uh, I've, some van lifers have said like, sell your house, sell everything you have, buy a, a motorhome and uh, move in full time, away you go. You'll, you'll, you'll love it. Uh, you'll, you'll wish that you've done it sooner. And for some that may work, but that might not work for everyone. I would think that if you're gonna do a van life style, that you would want to test it first to make sure that that's what you really want, that you can stand the uh, either the lonely, if you're alone, or if you can stand, if you've got a couple, well, <laughs> you, you have to uh, get, get along together. So I, I would say, uh, you know, like, don't just jump right into it. Uh, rent a, a van or, or, or whatever you can do, b borrow a friend's, and go out and, and, and uh, stay in it for a few weeks, you know, on the streets and, and uh, what have you, go camping or whatever, and not to jump into it right away. So uh, that was the 10 questions. So thank you, Dave, from uh, Ghetto Van Adventures. I'll put a, a link in the up above there and, and in the description below. And... Uh, he uh, tagged uh, also Chuck from Life of Chuck, and I'll also put a link in the description below and uh, I'll, uh, a link uh, up above there also. So I just want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and uh, um, taking the time out of your day to, to watch this, this video, the 10 questions, van life questions, challenge. And... Um, if you haven't already done so and you're a non-subscriber, please, there's several of them on the page where you can click to subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing. And then right, right near up on top, you can click the little bell so that you can be notified next time. So you don't have to come looking for me all the time. It just, it's right there. You'll be notified next time you go on YouTube that, uh, or in your email that, that I uh, have another video out and you can watch. And thank you to all my subscribers for uh, taking the time again out of your day to watch my humble, humble videos. And uh, subscribe, uh, share, uh, thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Uh, comment, I enjoy all the comments, I answer them all. Uh, look forward to them all. I guess I should tag a couple more. And uh, we haven't heard, I, well, I haven't seen any from uh, couples living in a van. I've only seen them for single uh, people, which when you're a couple is a little different story altogether again. So I think um, there is a couple that I know, or two of them, that are couples, and I think uh, I'll, I'll notify them, let them know that they've been tagged, and see what they what they come up with. See if they uh, want to do the the uh, challenge or not. Not not all people like to do challenges, but the uh, first one is going to go to uh, Justin and Christina RV Life. Uh, I follow them. There, I'll put a link to their um, channel 
up above here too. They're they're a great couple. I followed them for quite a while here now, and they do like workouts. They're on a couple times a week, I think, or at least videos out. They do uh, workouts, how to how to keep fit in your van, and they have all kinds of tips and and they do uh, interviews and uh, working on their own van. They're a, they're a great channel. They're a great couple, and they have very nice dog Angel. And the second tag would be uh, to Disadvantage Journey. Uh, Eddie and Monica, they're uh, a couple that live in a, in a van and for, for several years now. And uh, it would be nice to get their uh, points of view and their comments on, uh, on these 10, 10 questions. So consider both of you uh, tagged and uh, hope you take the challenge and uh, go with it and uh, give your best results, whatever you can. So there again, thanks you guys for all coming out and watching my videos and uh, we'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out guys.